First of all, we have a, uh, a cross-platform uh, uh, application uh, or, <coughs> or an SDK, Software De Development Kit. So what, basically what happened is that if you have a, uh, a developer who has a, recently has a you know, killer application, he, he can, it can be anything from a game or a, a GPS application, and suddenly he wants to publish that into different platforms. It could be Symbian, it could be Java, it could be Microsoft. Using the SDK that we have, he could automatically uh, has an access to about six to eight or 12 platforms immediately. Uh, our SDK allows any developer to access this SDK and suddenly his, uh, his application works for more than one uh, platform. And that would, uh, on the second stage, give the possibility for, uh, for the developer to open up an app store. When it comes to our own thinking about uh, creating an app, uh, app store, we are right now making sure that all of our, our uh, uh, platforms are in sync and they are uh, up and ready. Once that is done by the Q2, we hope by Q4, have something ready for beta uh, for an application store. Uh, it will be our own, but it will be uh, together with our de uh, developers because you know the only way to succeed in this industry is to have a bunch of developers uh, accessing this thing at the same time. Our approach at the moment, and we strongly believe that that openness will create more momentum, will create attraction and openness will also create uh, opportunities. So we have taken an approach to uh, have it open for everybody. I think it's, uh, you know, it's maybe it's Scandinavian heritage, you know, if you look at what uh, uh, Scandinavia has brought to the table when it comes to telecoms, is you know, GSM is an open standard, you know, Bluetooth is an open standard. So I think it's the uh, thinking from our philosophy and, you know, the, uh, the founders of, uh, the investors of this company, uh, MySQL, are, have, you know, open standard. So we have taken an approach open standard because uh, we believe that it's going to create momentum and we believe that everybody should, should be a part of this and create uh, opportunities for everybody. We have a really high degree of automation in, in the process to transform the different applications to the various models and, and platforms and, and we also have processes in there to ensure the quality is uh -huh. really high. But as in every system, for every application, whatever tools or methods you use, uh, testing is, is something you need to do as well. Just from gaming, uh, you know, there's a recently applications which has become very famous here in, uh, I wouldn't say famous, but very <coughs> successful, has got a lot of traction, is a, is a flirting application, you flirt with your Bluetooth, you know, and that's been developed. Uh, one of the most successful stories that we had is, is a very complicated GPS application for um, uh, uh, visually, uh, visual, uh, visually impaired, visually impaired. Mm. You know, because you have no to one. Yeah, yeah, that we talked about earlier. Yeah. Exactly, it has to be very, uh, you know, very uh, precise. Uh, it's very complicated, and now it's, uh, I think, commercially launched out there. I wouldn't say it, I think, I know mm -hmm. it's commercially launched. So, yes, and we are getting um, traction every day. I think since the last uh, six weeks, uh, we got uh, our download, uh, traffic download has been uh, doubling every week. Being an open source, uh, doesn't also, not, nothing, not, not, not doesn't only mean <coughs> that it's for free, but we have a dual licensing approach. You know, so it means that it's a subscription model. You pay a subscription for one year and you get access to certain levels for free and certain levels for premium where you have to pay for it. So, you know, uh, basically, I, I, can, I can go through that later on with you how it works, but you know, uh, for a certain phase, you, everything is free and then you bump it up for second phase, you pay a subscription for one year and then if you want even more, you get more. So you got support, you got consulting, you got training and all that stuff. But we're open source, we give away a lot for free but uh, especially for the users wanting to do commercial grade projects and want support and stuff, it's probably a good idea for them to, to buy a subscription. To be honest, if you look at our traffic, uh, our traffic is actually exploding from the Eastern Hemisphere. You know, it goes all the way, I would say, from, you know, uh, east of uh, Sweden 
all the way to Indonesia. Mm. So that's where we see a lot of traffic coming in. And I would say a lot of developers in Eastern Europe are uh, understanding the, the, the opportunity that have we have. Have been able to identify any developers in the Baltic countries yet? I, I can say it right straight away, but I can definitely tell you that there are some should be there already. Yes, definitely. And I think uh, to, your answer, to, your, to, your, to your question, uh, yes, this is a very good uh, start kit for a uh, hobby developer. You know, if it's, it's a one-man show down in, in, uh, in a country, let's say Latvia, it will be perfect for him to start because he already developed something in iPhone. Now he wants to do in, in Symbian, Microsoft, Java, and all the stuff. This would be a perfect uh, start for him. It takes him basically less than 15 minutes to get started. We have uh, about 800 devices we support today. And the platforms we have uh, today, it's um, Java for mobile, it's Symbian, it's Windows Mobile, it's Android, it's the new platform Moblin, which is basically mm. very similar to, to Migo that we will support. And next comes um, iPhone and Blackberry, so we will be platform complete more or less uh, in a couple mm. of months. Well, we actually replace the manual work of translating applications to different models and, and platforms um, with, the, with an automated process. And this is one of the really big problems in the mobile industry today. And it's such a big problem actually that is holding back the mobile revolution because it's enormously costly to translate an application to hundreds of models. Most projects actually can't afford this. Um, the, the building process is actually fully automated. It, it takes about 20-30 minutes to build an application for several hundred models. So it's, it's very, <laughs> very powerful compared to manual process where you maybe spend weeks or in some cases a month to do the work. To say uh, tough to just to pinpoint one out. Maybe someone on the on the, on the, on the side that's doing some similar to us. Yes, there are a couple of these guys. There's someone in France. There are a couple of them in the U.S. Uh, or in Indi India as well. But uh, when it comes to open source and the approach that we have taken, I haven't actually identified one head-to-head -head competition. Would you say that? Would you agree on that? Thomas? I agree on that. Yes, even though there are, as you said, Dushant, a few players addressing this and we know a lot of them, them actually uh, like we have um, mobile distillery in France and we have uh, J2ME Polish in, in, in Europe as well mm -hmm. uh, doing interesting stuff so it's, it's kind of a new niche is forming as well around solutions addressing these problems. So